Throughout the 19th century, the Spanish Empire has been dissolving due to numerous wars and independent revolts in the American continent they faced, weakened their colonialism, which only remain in their possessions are Guam, Puerto Rico, Cuba, and the Philippines by the turn of the 1890s. However, in Cuba, things are getting sour for the Spanish, as Cubans are seeking independence from their colonial overlords. With the failure of the Ten Years' War, Cuban revolutionary Jose Marti attempted for a second revolt by appointing Maximo Gomez and Antonio Macio Grajales to call out the rest of the Cubans to provoke an uprising. Violence ensued in 1895. The Philippines have been under Spanish rule for 333 years, turning the island from a small overseas colony to a land with modern elements in the cities. Similar to Cuba, the Filipinos initiated their revolution two years prior by Emilio Aguinaldo, but like Cuba, they were also quelled by the Spaniards, although continued to strengthen their nationalism and anti-sentiment towards the Spanish. With these rebellions in Cuba and the Philippines, Spain have awoken a sleeping giant. Two American journalists, Joseph Pulitzer and William Randolph Hearst, published articles about the conditions in Cuba and flooded American newspapers, leaving pouring outrage Americans to feel sorrow to the Cubans and demand of war grew. Despite some reports were declusive, along with the increasing threat of U.S. investment in the island, U.S. President William McKinley didn't want war as a solution and sent the USS Maine down to Havana Harbor to assure security of American interests and its citizens. However, that infamous evening of February 15, 1898, around 9.40 p.m., the Maine exploded and sank. This incident can be attributed as accidental, but since Hearst and Pulitzer fabricated the Spanish mine as the cause of the explosion, demand of war grew louder, forcing McKinley to step out of his patience, declared war as voted by the Congress on April 25th. On the 1st of May, Commodore George Dewey, commanding the U.S. Asiatic Squadron, along with his flagship, the USS Olympia, bombard and defeat the Spanish Navy at Manila Bay. Afterwards, Dewey sent one of his ships to pick up Emilio Aguinaldo, and a couple of Philippine revolutionary leaders were exiled in Hong Kong, following a truce between them and the Spanish, were sent back to the Philippines in direction to lead the revolution with the Americans to siege Manila. Eventually, captured the city and on June 12, the island affirms itself as an independent country. In Cuba, with the U.S. blockade of the island, the U.S. 5th Army Corps landed in the towns of Daquiri and Sabone on the 22nd of June. Under the leadership of General William Schaffner and Joseph Wheeler, they marched towards 2,000 Spanish soldiers engaged and able to defeat them at the Battle of Las Huasimas. Furthermore, the Americans have the upper hand against them, leaving more Spanish losses in El Canaje, San Juan Hill, where famously Theodore Roosevelt fought along with his cavalry unit, the Rough Riders, and the eventual fall of Santiago, which saw Spanish Admiral Pascual Severa's squadron destroyed by U.S. naval ships after attempting to flee the besieged city. With the crush of their navy and the defeats in Cuba and the Philippines including the loss of Guam, Puerto Rico, as well as their incapable to fight back, the Spanish government surrenders to the Americans on August 13th and issued a formal peace treaty which was signed in Paris on the 10th of December. During the treaty, Spain granted Cuban independence but under U.S. supervision, alongside their acquisitions of Guam, Puerto Rico, and the Philippines, shows that the United States is no longer depends on its isolationist ideals and emerge itself as an imperial superpower while the Spanish Empire slowly demise from existence.
Despite the fact the US government not willing to annex Cuba, they originally opted annexing the island in 1854 with the contingency of the Opstead Manifesto, which in that manifesto, pre-Civil War style, the Southerners persuaded the US government to buy Cuba, nevertheless failed and the American Civil War happened 7 years later. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and if you like this new series I'm doing, be sure to like and subscribe to this channel and also follow my social media sites on Twitter, Facebook, Reddit, Twitch and yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.